Caria tomentosa, Wikipedia article audio. Caria alba l. Habitat. Native range. Climate. Soils and topography. Associated forest cover. In the central forest upland oak types, mocker nut is commonly associated with. Common understory vegetation includes. Mocker nut is also associated with. In the southern forest, mocker nut grows with. In the loblolly pine hardwood type in the southern forest, mocker nut commonly grows in the upland and drier sites with. In the southern bottomlands, mocker nut occurs in the swamp chestnut oak cherry bark oak type along with. Understory trees include Life history Reproduction and early growth Flowering and fruiting Seed production and dissemination Seedling development Vegetative reproduction Sapling and pole stages to maturity Growth and yield Rooting habit Reaction to competition Damaging agents Special uses Genetics Caria tomentosa, is a tree in the Juglandaceae or walnut family. The most abundant of the hickories, common in the eastern half of the U.S., it is long-lived, sometimes reaching the age of 500 years. A straight-growing hickory, a high percentage of its wood is used for products where strength, hardness, and flexibility are needed. The wood makes an excellent fuel wood, as well. Sources The species name comes from the Latin word tomentum, meaning covered with dense short hairs, referring to the underside of the leaves which help identify the species. Also called the white hickory due to the light color of the wood, the common name mockernut comes from the large, thick-shelled fruit with very small kernels of meat inside. Mockernut hickory, a true hickory, grows from Massachusetts and New York west to southern Ontario, southern Michigan and northern Illinois, then to southeastern Iowa, Missouri and eastern Kansas south to eastern Texas and east to northern Florida. This species is not present in New Hampshire and Vermont as previously mapped by Little. Mocker nut hickory is most abundant southward through Virginia, North Carolina, and Florida where it is the most common of the hickories. It is also abundant in the lower Mississippi Valley and grows largest in the lower Ohio River Basin and in Missouri and Arkansas. The climate where mocker nut hickory grows is usually humid. Within its range the mean annual precipitation measures from 890 mm in the north to 2,030 mm in the south. During the growing season, annual precipitation varies from 510 to 890 mm. About 200 cm of annual snowfall is common in the northern part of the range but it seldom snows in the southern portion. Annual temperatures range from 10 degrees to 21 degrees Celsius. Temperatures range from 21 degrees to 27 C in July and from minus 7 degrees to 16 degrees Celsius in January. Temperature extremes are well above 38 degrees Celsius and below 18 degrees C. The growing season is approximately 160 days in the northern part of the range and up to 320 days in the southern part of the range. In the north, mocker nut hickory is found on drier soils of ridges and hillsides and less frequently on moist woodlands and alluvial bottoms. The species grows and develops best on deep, fertile soils. In the Cumberland Mountains and hills of southern Indiana, 
it grows on dry sites such as south and west slopes or dry ridges Mockernut grows in Alabama and Mississippi on sandy soils with short-leaf pine and loblolly pine. However, most of the merchantable Mockernut grows on moderately fertile upland soils. Mockernut hickory grows primarily on ultisols occurring on an estimated 65% of its range including much of the southern to northeastern United States. These soils are low in nutrients and usually moist, but during the warm season, they are dry part of the time. Along the mid-Atlantic and in the southern and western range, mockernut hickory grows on a variety of soils on slopes of 25% or less, including combinations of fine to coarse loams, clays, and well-drained quartz sands. On slopes steeper than 25%, mockernut often grows on coarse loams. Mockernut grows on inceptizoles in an estimated 15% of its range. These clayey soils are moderate to high in nutrients and are primarily in the Appalachians on gentle to moderate slopes where water is available to plants during the growing season. In the northern Appalachians on slopes of 25% or less, mockernut hickory grows on poorly drained loams with a fragipan. In the central and southern Appalachians on slopes 25% or less, Mockernut hickory grows on fine loams. On steeper slopes it grows on coarse loams. In the northwestern part of the range, mockernut grows on mollusols. These soils have a deep, fertile surface horizon greater than 25 cm thick. Mollusols characteristically form under grass in climates with moderate to high seasonal precipitation. Mockernut grows on a variety of soils including wet, fine loams, sandy textured soils that often have been burned, plowed, and pastured. Alfizoles are also present in these areas and contain a medium to high supply of nutrients. Water is available to plants more than half the year or more than three consecutive months during the growing season. On slopes 25% or less, Mockernut grows on wet to moist, fine loam soils with a high carbonate content. Mockernut hickory is associated with the eastern oak hickory forest and the beech maple forest. The species does not exist in sufficient amounts to be included as a title species in the Society of American Foresters forest cover types. Nevertheless, it is identified as an associated species in eight cover types. Three of the upland oak types and the bottom land type are subclimax to climax. The types are Central Forest Region Post Oak Black Jack Oak, White Oak Black Oak Northern Red Oak, White Oak, Black Oak Southern Forest Region Short Leaf Pine, Loblolly Pine Short Leaf Pine Loblolly Pine Hardwood, Swamp Chestnut Oak Cherry Bark Oak Mockernut Hickory is monoecious, male and female flowers are produced on the same tree. Mockernut male flowers are catkins about 10 to 13 cm long and may be produced on branches from axils of leaves of the previous season or from the inner scales of the terminal buds at the base of the current growth. The female flowers appear in short spikes on peduncles terminating in shoots of the current year. Flowers bloom in the spring from April to May, depending on latitude and weather. Usually the male flowers emerge before the female flowers. Hickories produce very large amounts of pollen that is dispersed by the wind. Fruits are solitary or paired and globose ripening in September and October, and are about 2.5 to 9.0 cm long with a short neck-like base. The fruit has a thick, four-ribbed husk 3 to 4 mm thick that usually splits from the middle to the base. The nut is distinctly four-angled with a reddish-brown, very hard shell 5 to 6 mm thick containing a small edible kernel.
The seed is dispersed from September through December. Mocker nut hickory requires a minimum of 25 years to reach commercial seed bearing age. Optimum seed production occurs from 40 to 125 years, and the maximum age listed for commercial seed production is 200 years. Good seed crops occur every two to three years with light seed crops Indiana intervening years. Approximately 50 to 75 percent of fresh seed will germinate. 14 Mockernut hickory trees in southeastern Ohio produced an average annual crop of 6,285 nuts for six years, about 39 percent were sound, 48 percent aborted, and 13 percent had insect damage. Hickory shuckworm is probably a major factor in reducing germination. Mockernut hickory produces one of the heaviest seeds of the hickory species. Clean seeds range from 70 to 250 seeds slash kg. Seed is disseminated mainly by gravity and wildlife, particularly squirrels. Birds also help disperse seed. Wildlife such as squirrels and chipmunks often bury the seed at some distance from the seed-bearing tree. Hickory seeds show embryo dormancy that can be overcome by stratification in a moist medium at 1 degree to 4 degrees Celsius for 30 to 150 days. When stored for a year or more, seed may require stratification for only 30 to 60 days. Hickory nuts seldom remain viable in the ground for more than a year. Hickory species normally require a moderately moist seed bed for satisfactory seed germination, and mockernut hickory seems to reproduce best in moist duff. Germination is hypogeal. Mockernut seedlings are not fast growing. The height growth of mockernut seedlings observed in the Ohio Valley in the open or under light shade on red clay soil was as follows. True hickories sprout prolifically from stumps after cutting and fire. As the stumps increase in size, the number of stumps that produce sprouts decreases, age is probably directly correlated to stump size and sprouting. Coppice management is a possibility with true hickories. True hickories are difficult to reproduce from cuttings. Madden discussed the techniques for selecting, packing, and storing hickory propagation wood. Reed indicated that the most tested hickory species for rootstock for pecan hickory grafts were mockernut and water hickory. However, Mockernut rootstock grew slowly and reduced the growth of pecan tops. Also, this graft seldom produced a tree that bore well or yielded large nuts. Mockernut hickory is a large, true hickory with a dense crown. This species occasionally grows to about 30 m tall and 91 cm in dbh, but heights and diameters usually range from about 15 and 46 to 61 cm, respectively. The relation of height to age is as follows. The current annual growth of mockernut hickory on dry sites is estimated at about 1.0 m superscript 3 slash ha. In fully stocked stands on moderately fertile soil 2.1 m superscript 3 slash ha is estimated, though annual growth rates of 3.1 m superscript 3 slash ha were reported in Ohio. Greenwood and bark weights for commercial size mocker nut trees from mixed hardwoods in Georgia are available for total tree and saw log stems to a 4 inch top for trees 5 to 22 inches dbh. Available growth data and other research information is summarized for hickory species, not for individual species. Trimble compared growth rates of various Appalachian hardwoods including a hickory species category dominant co-dominant hickory trees 38 to 51 cm in dbh on good oak sites grew slowly compared to northern red oak, yellow poplar, black cherry, and sugar maple. 
Hickories were in the white oak, sweet birch, and American beech growth rate category. Dominant codominant hickory trees grew about 3 mm dbh per year compared to 5 mm for the moderate growth species and 6 mm for the faster growing species. Equations are available for predicting merchantable gross volumes from hickory stump diameters in Ohio. Also, procedures are described for predicting diameters and heights and for developing volume tables to any merchantable top diameter for hickory species in southern Illinois and West Virginia. Generally, epicormic branching is not a problem with hickory species, but a few branches do occur. True hickories such as mocker nut develop a long taproot with few laterals. The species is wind firm. Early root growth is primarily into the taproot, which typically reaches a depth of 30 to 91 cm during the first year. Small laterals originate along the taproot, but many die back during the fall. During the second year, the taproot may reach a depth of 122 cm, and the laterals grow rapidly. After five years, the root system attains its maximum depth, and the horizontal spread of the roots is about double that of the crown. By age 10, the height is four times the depth of the taproot. At certain times during its life, Mocker nut hickory may be variously classified as tolerant to intolerant. Overall it is classified as intolerant of shade. It recovers rapidly from suppression and is probably a climax species on moist sites. Sylvie cultural practices for managing the oak hickory type have been summarized. Establishing the seedling origin of hickory trees is difficult because of seed predators. Although infrequent bumper seed crops usually provide some seedlings, seedling survival is poor under a dense canopy. Because of prolific sprouting ability, hickory reproduction can survive browsing, breakage, drought, and fire. Top dieback and res rooting may occur several times, each successive shoot reaching a larger size and developing a stronger root system than its predecessors. By this process, hickory reproduction gradually accumulates and grows under moderately dense canopies, especially on sites dry enough to restrict reproduction of more tolerant but more fire or drought sensitive species. The banded hickory borer, a long horned beetle, the apple twig borer, the flathead ambrosia beetle, the red-headed ash borer, the false powder post beetle. Wherever adequate hickory advance reproduction occurs, clear-cutting results in new sapling stands containing some hickories. It is difficult to attain reproduction if advance hickory regeneration is inadequate, however, then clear-cutting will eliminate hickories except for stump sprouts. In theory, light thinnings or shelter woodcuts can be used to create advanced hickory regeneration, but this has not been demonstrated. Mocker nut hickory is extremely sensitive to fire because of the low insulating capacity of the hard, flinty bark. Mocker nut is not subject to severe loss from disease. The main fungus of hickory is Poria spiculosa, a trunk rot. This fungus kills the bark, which produces a canker, causes heart rot and decay, and can seriously degrade the tree. Mineral streaks and sapsucker-induced streaks also degrade the lumber. In general, the hard, strong, and durable wood of hickories makes them relatively resistant to decay fungi. Most fungi cause little, if any, decay in small, young trees. Common foliage diseases include leaf mildew and witch's broom, leaf blotch, and pecan scab. Mocker nut hickory is host to anthracnose. Nuts of all hickory species are susceptible to attack by the hickory nut weevil. 
Another weevil attacks young shoots and leaf petioles. The Curculio species are the most damaging and can destroy 65% of the hickory nut crop. Hickory shuckworms also damage nuts. The bark beetle attacks mocker nut hickory, especially in drought years and where hickory species are growing rapidly. The hickory spiral borer and the pecan carpenter worm are also serious insect enemies of mocker nut. The hickory bark beetle probably destroys more saw timber size mocker nut trees than any other insect. The hickory spiral borer kills many seedlings and young trees, and the pecan carpenter worm degrades both trees and logs. The twig girdler attacks both small and large trees, it seriously deforms trees by sawing branches. Sometimes these girdlers cut hickory seedlings near ground level. Two case bearers feed on buds and leaves, later they bore into succulent hickory shoots. Larvae of Acaria varella may destroy entire nut sets. The living hickory borer feeds on hickory bowls and branches throughout the east. Borers commonly found on dying or dead hickory trees or cut logs include Severe damage to hickory lumber and manufactured hickory products is caused by powder post beetles. Gall insects commonly infest leaves. The fruit tree leaf roller and the hickory leaf roller are the most common leaf feeders. The giant bark aphid is common on hickory bark. This aphid usually feeds on twigs and can cause branch mortality. The European fruit lecanium is common on hickories. Mocker nut is not easily injured by ice glaze or snow, but young seedlings are very susceptible to frost damage. Many birds and animals feed on the nuts of mocker nut hickory. This feeding combined with insect and disease problems eliminates the annual nut production, except during bumper seed crop years. Mocker nuts are preferred mast for wildlife, particularly squirrels, which eat green nuts. Black bears, foxes, rabbits, beavers, and white-footed mice feed on the nuts, and sometimes the bark. The white-tailed deer browse on foliage and twigs and also feed on nuts. Hickory nuts are a minor source of food for ducks, quail, and turkey. Mocker nut hickory nuts are consumed by many species of birds and other animals, including wood duck, red-bellied woodpecker, red fox, squirrels, beaver, eastern cottontail, eastern chipmunk, turkey, white-tailed deer, white-footed mice, and others. Many insect pests eat hickory leaves and bark. Mocker nut hickories also provide cavities for animals to live in, such as woodpeckers, black rat snakes, raccoons, Carolina chickadees, and more. They are also good nesting trees, providing cover for birds with their thick foliage. Animals help disperse seeds so that new hickories can grow elsewhere. Chipmunks, squirrels, and birds do this best. Some fungi grow on mocker nut hickory roots, sharing nutrients from the soil. True hickories provide a very large portion of the high-grade hickory used by industry. Mocker nut is used for lumber, pulpwood, charcoal, and other fuel wood products. Hickory species are preferred species for fuel wood consumption. Mocker nut has the second highest heating value among the species of hickories. It can be used for veneer but the low supply of logs of veneer quality is a limiting factor. Mocker nut hickory is used for tool handles requiring high shock resistance. It is used for ladder rungs, athletic goods, agricultural implements, dowels, gymnasium apparatus, poles, shafts, well pumps, and furniture. Lower grade lumber is used for pallets, blocking, and so on. Hickory sawdust, chips, and some solid wood are often used by packing companies to smoke meats, 
and mockernut is the preferred wood for smoking hams. Though mockernut kernels are edible, because of their size they are rarely eaten by humans. Mockernut hickory is used for smoking meats such as ham. Mockernut is a 64 chromosome species and therefore rarely crosses with 32 chromosome species such as pecan or shellbark hickory. There is no published information concerning population or other genetic studies of this species. Efforts are currently underway to map the genome of pecan in a collaborative effort. The genome map at some point may expand to cover other hickory species. Hickories are noted for their variability with many natural hybrids known among North American Caria species. Hickories usually can be crossed successfully within the genus. Geneticists recognize that mockernut hickory hybridizes naturally with C. illinoensis and C. ovida. Mockernut readily hybridizes with tetraploid C. texana. Hybrids generally are shy nut producers or produce nuts that are not filled with a kernel. There are numerous exceptions to this rule. This article incorporates public domain material from the United States government document http colon slash slash www.na.fs.fed.us slash pub slash sylvie cs manual slash table of contents dot shtm.